afternoon, Episcop. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to a new map tour. This map is now available for all platforms. This is Big Flats, Texas. This is from TK Farms. Space on this one is 114.79 megabytes. Anyways, this is a fictional map based off locations around Greenville, Texas. Map has two farms, a main farm and a cattle farm. The cattle farm needs to be purchased to be able to use the buildings. All farm buildings can be sold. There are 16 fields and 23 farmlands. There's a train, five cell points, custom grain mill and bakery, working AI routes, 100 wooden collectibles. So yes, there is collectibles on this. And this is precision farming ready. So let's actually take a look at this. Okay. So I'm on new farmer mode. This is exactly where you start off with. It does have the basic uh, house right here. But you know what? It's not a bad house. I don't I don't mind this house at all. And looks like this is, well, like, the far, like it says, flat. <laughs> really, really flat. Okay, but anyways, this is the main farm right over here. Love the sheds. Uh, you do start off with some augers. Actually, let's take a look at the uh, starting vehicles we have on, over here. Oh, there is actually two custom ones. There's this one right here, a forage mixer, and then a manure spreader. wonder why those are custom. Okay, let's see. Own vehicles. We have two medium tractors, a 6230 and a 7810, a 7R350 tractor, and then let's see, a Max Superliner 6x4, and harvesters, we have a T560. So sticking with John Deere, that is pretty good right there. <laughs> skid steer we have the l318 cars pick up 1986 which probably everybody's gonna be getting rid of trailers we have a pace setter and a ta23065 headers of course we have the 625x which is probably gonna be upgrading that one disc you have the mac mac till 261 planters the kinsey 3 3665 sprayers the navigator 4000 fertilizer spreader the k105 skid steer tools you have pallet fork Weights, you have two of them. You have the LaForge EZ-1700 and the Pickup 1150. And then, of course, the two augers, the Cave All and the TL-1239. So that's the starting vehicles you have. Let's see, starting, uh, starting, uh, I can't even speak. Starting farms and fields, you have two and three. And as you guys can tell, if you're not into square or rectangle fields, then this map will probably not be for you. All right, anyways, let's actually get to this. Let's go in here. So here's where a lot of your vehicles are. I love these sheds. Lots and lots of doors. Is there lights? Yep, there is shed lights on here. It's a big storage area, and we got another one right over here, which probably houses a lot of your other vehicles. Yep, and there is a shop right back here. Okay, let me actually go and take a look in the build menu just to see if there's anything like mods. Yep, you got some custom stuff right over here. The sheds and stuff, workshops, silos. Is there any custom ones on that one? No silo extensions, no containers. Yes, there is. There is the fertilizer tank and the liquid fertilizer tank. Tools, nothing farmhouse that is a custom farmhouse on that productions let's see if there's any custom productions oh you have some uh actually drying silos fermenting tmr steel silos selling points nothing greenhouses nothing orchards of course wouldn't be nothing and generators nothing animals looks like there is custom animals uh which actually the cows take corn on this map Okay. Yeah, take they take corn and looks like you also have to give them water on here. Pigs, let's see, horses takes regular stuff. Uh pigs takes pretty much normal, and so do they. And then chicken also takes corn too. Okay, any custom crops? Let's see. No, there is no custom crops. Crop calendar. Oh, so looks like there should be some uh let's see, I'm trying to see real quick yes you should be able to double crop because it looks like in june you can actually harvest wheat barley and oats and so then you should be able to plant soybeans or corn at the end of that wow that's nice nice addition right there okay we have our of course our field that we own which is a decent sized field that's what i was saying if you're going to use that harvester right there it is going to take you a while to get this one done but this is a this is a pretty nice farm right here. 
Definitely feels merit. Oh, I found a collectible. 2500 for that collectible. And then, of course, we have these silos right here, which I, I highly doubt these are single crop silos, though. So these probably you put anything in them. So, but anyways, this is the first farm. Let me see if there's anything actually in this garage. Yep. Looks like it's almost all filled. And then we have our fertilizer silos, which can hold seeds, lime. So that is pretty nice. And then we also have a liquid one right over here, which can hold herbicide or liquid fertilizer. Okay, anyways, that is the main farm right there. Okay, let's see if I can find the second farm. I'm either thinking it's going to be right there or right over here. Wait, no, that's actually a town. So it's probably right over here, which is going to be $76,000. Let's go ahead. and Okay, this looks like this is the main animal farm right here. Ooh, this is, these are some nice silos right here. And I found another collectible. Actually got quite a few of them. One, two, three over here. We've got a garage right there. Some storage area right there. And then here is your animals. This is, wow. This is the first time I've ever seen like a feedlot actually on uh, on a map actually to begin with. So 100 cows right here. Let me just, well, as much as I can afford. So there you go. Yeah, look at that. Talk about a huge, huge feedlot. Wow, so if you're into, like, you know, doing feedlots and stuff, this is definitely going to be your map right here. I like these garages, too. Whoa. Oh, okay, so you actually bring it in here to empty them out. What's this for? Oh, this is okay. This is to manage it right here. So your hay, your total mixed ration, and then you got your fermenting one. It's pretty neat. I, li I like this. Definitely something new and unique on there. Open gates. Oh, I wish you can open that little door. You see that little, like, little cutout door? Is there any way, like, a trigger for it? No, I don't see it. It does have shed lights in here. Another door right there. You can see right through there. That's pretty cool. But anyways, that is the uh, the two farms. Really nice. Uh, that tree. If Sam was on here, that would already be cut down. Speed limit. Well, 50 miles an hour on this gravel road. I mean, I've seen actually faster, but just saying. Okay, so there's that. Then right over here, we have, let's see, Lone Star Goods, Vehicle Shop. We have our Lone Star Bales and our Animal Dealer. Prices of field, say like the biggest one right here. This is $804,000. That's actually not too bad for the, pri uh, for the price of that field. Okay, Lo Lone Star Livestock of Big Flats. So custom signs. I, I love when maps do like custom stuff. Uh, Lone Star Livestock, a big flats. Uh, let's see, what does it say? New buyers, please register at the office. All livestock will be paid for within 24 hours. Hmm. So if you don't mind square fields, then you're gonna love this map. Lots of custom stuff on here. Look at that, Lone Star Tractor. Got the John Deere dealership sign on there. And then right over here is a cell point. So there's that little part of the town. And then right over here, we have a train that goes to Green... Hey, Greenville. And you can also... Wait, can you rent the train? Let me see. Oh, I lo love the... Wow. That thing's big. I don't know if you can actually rent the train, though. Yep, you can rent the train. It's right here. So you can actually rent the train, and then you can sell all your goods. And this goes to, like I said, Nebraska. We have a gas station right over here. Welcome to Grace and Foods. Nice little gas station. Okay, let's go right over to here. Is this the border right here? Actually, a nice looking border. Okay, this is one of the production, the bakery. How much is it? 50000 Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to borrow $50,000. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, this makes bread and cake. So pretty much your normal stuff right there. Okay, so we got that, and then we also have a big cell area right over here. There's the train going by. Is the train? Yeah, the train looks actually has different stuff on there. Wow, nice little train. 
Railroad Crossings. I mean, this is a really decent map right here. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this map. This was just a quick map tour. Let me know if you guys are also planning on playing on this. Remember, guys, if you did enjoy the video, a like would be appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. We post videos on this channel every single day. Anyways, guys, have an amazing day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.